Today we're gonna to be talking about is three mistakes that you need to avoid with photography. Now, it doesn't matter how long you've been doing this, if you're brand new or you've been in it for a long time, like myself or even longer, you can still make these mistakes and not even know it. So let's jump into topic number one, which is not taking enough time when you're taking your photo. Now I understand there's some certain situations where you don't have as much time to compose your image. Maybe you're shooting fast action sports or something where you can't really stage things or take your time with it, like landscape photography or even staged portraits where people just kind of sit up. Maybe it's at a wedding, you gotta capture that perfect moment. But what you can do in those situations is prepare for that by going ahead and locking in your settings so you have everything ready to go so that way you can take more time getting those perfect shots. Because a lot of times I feel like we just pull out our cameras, we just frame up the image very briefly, and then we take the shot. But what we're not doing is spending enough time to get that composition, to get that lighting, to frame everything just right, to be able to tell the story with that image. Otherwise, we're just creating a snapshot and that's not what we want to do. So tip number two of things to avoid is not taking enough photos. And I can't stress this enough. You know, in the digital world, we have our memory cards, so basically space is somewhat unlimited, especially when we're taking pictures. If you have a pretty big size memory card, you can take thousands of photos on that memory card. Storage space, hard drives, they're not expensive. Start taking more photos. Because let's say you go out to a location that you maybe can't get to very frequently or someplace you had to get special access to. You go out there and take maybe a hundred or so photos of this location and that's all you get. You get back home and realize that maybe only 10 of these photos are worthwhile. Versus if you would have taken a few hundred photos, you probably would have had a lot more to choose from. And then too, you never know what these photos might get used for on down the line. Did you shoot vertical so that there is vertical photos for an ad publication? Are there horizontal? Are there different viewpoints of things? So make sure you're covering plenty of perspectives and different angles and compositions, different times of day, lighting, whatever it needs to be. Just make sure that you are taking more photos. And tip number Number three of things to avoid is over editing your photos. Oftentimes this is easy to do that we just kind of go into our editing programs and we just start applying all this stuff to the point that we overdo the image too much. You know, I've always learned throughout my life and pretty much anything I do that less is often more. Whether you're applying makeup or you're applying effects to a video or you're applying different types of editing to your photo, it doesn't matter. Less is often more. Think about if you're making chili at home and you toss in a little bit of cayenne pepper and you warm up that chili versus pouring in half the bottle. It's going to be pretty hot to the point that even if you like super hot stuff, it's probably going to be a pretty nasty chili and nobody's going to want to eat it. Now, I'm not saying that you're going that far in your edits, but sometimes, you know, the subtleties of editing, not letting people know that you actually edited the image means that you did a really good job in the editing process. And we don't wanna ruin our images by compressing them down and adding all kinds of layers of things and things and things on top. Now, obviously, if you're creating something artistic and fun, that's all and well, but when you start taking away from the natural presence of a lot of images, that's, that's not exactly what you wanna do. So those are my three pointers that I'd like to put out today of things that I've just been seeing going on. People have talked about not having enough photos or they're just not fans of their own photos or, or the edits are just been blown way out of proportion. So if you'll stop doing those three things and apply just the opposites of what those three things are, I think you'll see a great increase on your photography. But thanks so much for joining in today. If you did like today's video, be sure to leave a thumbs up. And as always, be sure to create something new today.